Hi friends, welcome to my channel today. We will see JavaScript Trickly Practical Interview Question and Answers. Question 1. What will be the output of the following code? Answer. The output will be an empty string. When arrays are concatenated using the plus operator, JavaScript converts them to strings. An empty array is converted to an empty string and concatenating to empty strings results in an empty string. Question 2. What is the value of type of undefined is equal to is equal to type of null? Answer. The value will be true. However, it's important to note that null should be null in JavaScript case sensitive. So, the correct expression would be type of undefined is equal to is equal to type of null, which also evaluates to true. Both undefined and null have the same type undefined. Question 3. What will be the output of the following code? console.log 2 plus 2 plus 2. Answer. The output will be 42. JavaScript follows the left to right order of operations. First, the sum of 2 plus 2 is calculated, resulting in 4. Then, 4 is implicitly converted to a string and concatenated with the string 2. Question 4. What is the result of the following code? Answer. The result will be undefined. JavaScript automatically inserts a semicolon after the return statement, causing the function to exit early without returning any value. As a result, the function call console.log greet outputs undefined. Question 5. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log 3 is equal to is equal to is equal to 3 is equal to is equal to is equal to 3. Answer. The output will be false. In JavaScript, the comparison operator is equal to is equal to is equal to has left to right associativity. So, 3 is equal to is equal to is equal to 3 evaluates to true and then true is equal to is equal to is equal to 3 is evaluated. Since the strict equality operator compares both value and type, the boolean value true is not equal to the number 3, resulting in false. Question 6. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log 1, 2, 3 is equal to is equal to 1, 2, 3. Answer. The output will be false. In JavaScript, Objects and arrays are reference types. When comparing to arrays or objects using the equality operator, is equal to is equal to, the comparison checks if the references point to the same object in memory, not if their contents are equal. In this case, the two arrays have different references, hence the result is false. Question 7. What will be the output of the following code? console.log hello instance of string answer the output will be false in javascript primitive values like strings numbers and booleans are not objects and do not have constructors therefore the instance of operator returns false when used with a primitive value however if you wrap the string in an object using the new string constructor the output would be true. Question 8. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log 0.1 plus 0.2 is equal to is equal to is equal to 0.3. Answer. The output will be false. In JavaScript, numbers are represented using the IEEE 754 standard, which introduces floating point precision limitations. As a result, some decimal arithmetic operations may not yield the exact expected results. In this case, the sum of 0.1 and 0.2 is slightly imprecise, 
resulting in 0.3000000000000004, which is not equal to 0.3. Question 9. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log 1 to 3. Answer. The output will be true. JavaScript evaluates the expressions from left to right. The comparison 1 to is evaluated first, resulting in true. Then, true is converted to the number 1 and compared with 3. Since 1 is less than 3, the final result is true. Question 10. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log type of nan is equal to is equal to is equal to number. Answer. The output will be true. In JavaScript, nan stands for not a number and is considered a numeric value of type number. Therefore, the expression type of nan is equal to is equal to is equal to number evaluates to true. Question 11. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log 2 plus 1 to 1. Answer. The output will be 20. The addition operation plus is left to right associative. So 2 plus 1 results in the string concatenation of 2 and 1 producing 21. Then the subtraction operation dash attempts to convert the string 21 to a number resulting in the value 21. Subtracting 1 from 21 yields 20. Question 12. What will be the output of the following code? Console.log plus. Answer. The output will be object object. When an object is concatenated with a string, JavaScript first converts the object to its string representation. In this case, the empty array is converted to an empty string and the empty object is converted to object object. Concatenating the two strings results in object object. Question 13. What is the difference between set interval and set timeout? Answer. Set interval is a function that repeatedly calls a function or evaluates an expression at a specified interval, executing it indefinitely until clear interval is called. Set timeout is a function that calls a function or evaluates an expression after a specified delay, executing it only once. Thank you. Feel free to include your queries in comment box. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.